This is entitled, The President Did Not Admit He Was a Muslim. I guess it was just a matter of time. Thanks to all who have shared the YouTube video, Obama admits he's a Muslim. It was entertaining that so many could take sound bites and draw the conclusion that he is indeed a Muslim, beyond a doubt. When he says, I know, because I am one of them, it doesn't mean that he's saying I'm a Muslim. It was an acknowledgement that he was one of those families who had Muslims in it. When he says the call to prayer was beautiful sound, he wasn't lying. I have heard that call to prayer during my tours of duty in that region, and I thought it sounded beautiful because it's like a song. People can't stand that he quotes the Quran, but I've also seen him quote the Bible. What is so scary about someone being educated on various religious texts? I've studied many assorted texts over the years, including the Quran. Does that make me a Muslim? Nope. No more than reading the Bible makes me a Christian. The claims to the contributions of Islam to the world are correct. Our space program wouldn't have been possible without Iranian scientists. Don't lie and say that you don't appreciate a lot of the architecture in that portion of the world. It's beautiful. The bowing part of the video, it's bogus, because other presidents have bowed as well in the past, especially to the Saudi king. Folks getting angry over him claiming that we're a nation with a high Muslim population is pointless. We have over 5 million people of Islamic faith. Over 42% of those are African American Muslims. 24.5% are from Asia. 12.4% are Arab and from Africa and lower portion of Asia. For those who insist that he's a Muslim because he will not say ISIS and other various groups are not Muslim terrorists, he is simply refusing to buy into the loud minority, which is the supposedly moral majority, which is neither, desire for him to do so. By doing so, he would condemn the group of people based on their religious backgrounds. That would be extremely Nazi-esque. Do me a favor, the wolves in Christian clothing. Quit crying about your persecution. This is not a solely Christian nation that was founded on Christian faith as you believe. When people try to expand their views and understand others, it's not an attack on Christianity. It's an attempt to be inclusive in this great melting pot. One final thing. What if President Obama were a Muslim? I know he isn't, but what if he were? Isn't freedom of religion guaranteed in the First Amendment? Last I checked, it didn't have a footnote that reads, but only if we approve. I love my nation and I love the world, but sometimes people leave me wondering why I sacrifice so much of myself for narrow-scoped and hateful citizens. Terrorists are terrorists. Don't try to complicate it with religion. Our president is neither Muslim nor terrorist.